What did they say? What are they going to do? To do? Well, since there is neither a bribe nor a loose morale mademoiselle attached to their complaint, I suspect they'll do nothing. I'm afraid he's right. This sort of thing is rather common. I wanted to thank you for helping. It was my pleasure. Uh, the old man... Uh, well, if he wakes in the next hour, he should recover. If he doesn't, he probably won't. But why would they want to kill him? Uh, some men don't need a reason. Mademoiselle, can you escort you home? Oh, no, 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 thank you. Valentine, get your carriage. I live to serve. I saw you in the theater. And I saw you. Um, <laughs> just of course. I saw you. Um, uh, have you been doing this for long? The puppets, I mean. On my life. It was very nice to meet you. Obviously, the, uh, the circumstances... The circumstances could have been better, yes. <sighs> You'll have to forgive me. This sort of thing doesn't happen to me very often. Well, never, in fact. With, with the men in the alley. You did very well for the first time. Her Majesty's carriage awaits. <laughs> yes. I, I really should uh, be with my father. That is, I should be going. Did you enjoy the show? Oh, it, it was interesting. Now, there's a diplomatic answer. <laughs> I liked it very much. Then come again, please. Um, I'll try. Good evening, monsieur. André. André. Anybody wants to chat, go ahead. Oh, Andre. <laughs> Our son still lives. And still lives. I thank him. He is weaker at least. Weaker, but now warm. Now warm. It will be harder now. He has known of us from the beginning. He senses us. He waits for us. But we must choose the time and the place to strike. We can afford no more. Amen. You should try to attract a more working class clientele, Andre. They're always more generous to poor, helpless, unfortunates like me. These rich bastards, squeezing the sue out of them, it's like, it's like real work. I'll see what I can do for you. Make some girl puppets, naked ones. Maybe a sort of puppet fully berger. <laughs> <coughs> You just come from the customs. Is it real now? Mm -hmm. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure myself. You're both a gentleman and a scholar, Andre. I'm Diego. I suppose you'll have to do. Oh, you're awake. How are you feeling? You're attacked by some... I know what happened to me. Is there anybody you'd like me to send for? Family, friends? I've had no living relatives. 
for almost 2,900 years. Oh, I see. Um, <laughs> Put that thing down and come over here. Your sorcerer from Egypt, and you want to teach me the secret of life. But um, I think you should rest. There will be plenty of time for that to know, don't you think? I mean, after 3,000 years, one more might matter. signs of protection for your doors. That will make it harder for my enemies to find me. <sighs> Sometimes I think I must be going mad. What? What? I give you an opening like that and you don't take advantage of it? Bring him inside. Yes. Uh, yes, I know. It's fortunate for us. Bodies are easier to find in the streets of Cairo than in the streets of Paris. What are you talking about? Did you think it was enough merely to teach you theory? To be a master, you must practice what you have learned. Think of it as a gift, a rebirth, and then makes it easier for anybody to make it. 
Still trying to figure out this pyroscope or periscope, whatever the heck you call it. Anyway. I only have one viewer. I need more viewers. Are you all right? <laughs> no, I'm dying. I told you that before. But not right this moment. But soon. One day. No more. Is there anything I can do? Yes. The gift I have given you is the most precious in the world. Through the centuries, armies have fought and died for it. Well, I guess since no one's viewing me, only one person, I'll just stop broadcasting and maybe get back on later. Whoever that is viewing me, I'll probably be on later. Bye bye. <laughs> 